University Mobility in Asia and the Pacific, established in 1993, is a voluntary association comprised of government and non-governmental organizations in higher education. There are 19 formal member countries: Australia, Bangladesh, Brunei, Cambodia, Fiji, Hong Kong, India, Japan, Kazakhstan, Macau, Malaysia, Mexico, Mongolia, Philippines, Republic of Korea, Samoa, Taiwan, Thailand, and Vietnam. The objectives of UMAP lie in student mobility and transfer of credits, enhancing cooperation within higher education institutions, and increasing the mobility of both university students and staff in Asia and the Pacific, and at the same time, strengthen the understanding between cultures, economies, and social systems. UMAP holds its committee and board meeting twice a year, in which partner countries and universities are invited to present their accomplishments, bring events up to date, and exchange insights. Other discussions revolve around student enrollment schemes, scholarship allocation, and sharing of academic-related benefits or hindrance in order to enhance student mobility. UMAP consists of three programs: programs A, B, and C. Program A, also known as UME, is a one to two semester exchange offering education for free and an additional twenty thousand NT dollars scholarship for each inbound and outbound student from Taiwan. Students also receive benefits such as transfer of credits, free accommodation, and medical allowances. Program B, also known as UBE, is somewhat similar to Program A, but is between UMAP's sister schools. This is where negotiation and students' academic performances are crucial. Program C, also known as the Super Short Term Program, is a two to eight week exchange during summer holidays. These summer courses depend on each participating university. Students participating in this program would receive scholarships of up to 800 U.S. dollars. And furthermore, we had a field work in this class. That and accord and in this field work, we occurred. We had to go to a community to、uh, to experience the food culture and to know the food environment or food culture how they works in our daily life and it's a very special experience for me that because my interest is about、uh, food environment or nutrition education and it's very related to our daily life. I first arrived in Thailand. I couldn't speak Thai language and I couldn't read Thai words. The only things I could do is to point. So I first ordered my food like this. <laughs> I just stand by the shop and I just look, look. I'm waiting for the cook to take their plate out. And when they first time take their plate out, and I just cross here and <laughs> one, one, one. <laughs> yes. This is a very special experience. Oh, this is their、uh, campus. Their campus is really, really modern and also、uh, very eco-friendly. Their building and the facility are very high-tech, and you can see a lot of grass. And also, they have a lake in their school. And yeah, this is their front door. And once again, thank you for your visit. I'm studying Huangma Campus, so it's quite near the city, the、uh, Bangkok city. So, like 30, it's around 20 minutes or 30 minutes drive, and then I can go to Bangkok city, and it's quite convenient for the living nearby living living area. And the third reason I pick this one because it's really famous for this business field. And、um, and later on, I know because I only check this university by internet, and then I pick this one. And then later on, I know why it's famous for its business field because it's very very expensive. We do a lot of party, and we invite a lot of friends to our to 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 our apartment. And almost like they came from different country, such such as、uh, China. Of course, Japan and the French and the German, and I think this really interesting. And this was our Halloween party, and this one is in Izakaya. Yeah, 
And the third one is fast food. me